Hi everybody, this is Chris again, and welcome back to Survival Chinese Bites from FluentInMandarin.com, the series where I break down survival Chinese phrases so you can understand them and start using them yourself. In this mini lesson, I'm going to be teaching you the most simple way I know to ask for a train ticket and to buy a train ticket at a station in China. So let's have a look at how we would do this. The way I'm doing this is I'm not actually using full sentences, but I'm just using short phrases to get across the most important information. Because when you're in a train station, there's a lot of people and it's normally very crowded and quite chaotic. So you need to get across the most basic information in the most simple way. So if you walk up to the counter, they will normally ask you where you want to go, or you can just say this yourself. For example, you can say, 去西安, 去西安. So chu means to go, and this is in the fourth tone, so your voice falls in pitch. Chu. And then you can just say the name of the place that you want to go to in Chinese. So for example, Xi'an is the city in northwest China where they have the terracotta warriors of the first emperor. And you might want to find out how to say the place that you want to go in Chinese with the correct tones. So this place, Xi'an, is pronounced in two first tones, two high, constant pitch, or level pitch tones. So you can say, 去西安, 去西安, or 去上海, or 去北京. And then the person will know exactly where you want to go. And you'll notice that it's actually acceptable in Chinese to talk in kind of broken sentences when you're asking for things. You don't have to say, excuse me, I would like to do something. Um, you can just get straight to the point, especially when you're queuing for a ticket or you're trying to do something very specific. The next question they'll probably ask you is when you want to go. And you can say something like this. 明天早上八点. 明天早上八点 明天 is tomorrow 明天 tomorrow 早上 早上 means morning 晚上 would be evening We had this in a previous video So 明天早上 means tomorrow morning And then in this example I'm teaching you how to say eight o'clock. Ba dian. Ba dian. So ba is eight and dian literally means a dot or it can also mean a clock. So ba dian would be eight o'clock. I'm not going to go through all the um, telling the time in this lesson, um, but this is just an example. Ming tian zao shang ba dian. Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. So you're going to Xi'an tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. Okay, one, one useful thing that you can do in advance is try to look up the train times before you go to the station and know exactly which train you want to take. This will save a lot of trouble and a lot of potential misunderstanding, especially if your Chinese isn't that strong. So in China, the fastest trains start with G, and then the next fastest trains start with um, D, so those are both bullet trains, and then the slower trains will generally start with K or T, and they're a lot slower. So normally if you're getting the bullet train, you'll want to find ones which start with G or sometimes D. So in this example, you can you can even say the name of the train that you want to get. So you can say G G is 18. G Shiba G eighteen Th is a counter word or a measure word for trains. It basically means number eighteen. G Shiba and Ch means vehicle, car, or in this case, train. The full word for train is actually Hua fire vehicle, because the earliest trains were steam trains, but in this situation we're just saying for the to mean train or vehicle. So G 
十八 ，the number 四 ，in the fourth tone， then 车，七十八次车 ，train number G eighteen， and then the next question they'll typically ask you is how many tickets you want to buy， and even if you don't understand the response， you can actually um cut right to the chase by saying that you want 一张票。一张票 or 一张 means one ticket. 一 is the number one. 张 is a counter word or a measure word, which goes with ticket. So in Chinese, when you say a number and the object, you have to put a measure word in the middle or a counter word in the middle, the one that goes with the noun or the object. So with 票 the measure word is. Zhang. So we have to say e zhang piao, one zhang, and then ticket. E zhang piao means one ticket. Liang zhang piao would be two tickets. Liang zhang piao. So e zhang piao, or e zhang would be one ticket, or liang zhang piao, or. 两张 for two tickets. Also, remember that when you buy a train ticket in China, you have to present your passport at the same time, and the ticket is connected with your passport number, so nobody else can use it, and you can't sell it on to anybody else. So you'll also need to give them your passport and the money, and then you'll get your ticket. Okay, so hopefully this video will help you if you're traveling around China and you want to use the railway system or buy tickets. And it'll get you to the right place at the right time. If you enjoyed this video, please do click the like button and subscribe to receive my future videos. Also, click on the logo for my website now to go to my site and sign up with your email address to receive all my best videos and tips to your email inbox. And it's free, and you can unsubscribe any time if you like. If you're interested in learning Chinese in more detail and with native speakers as well, then don't forget to check out my full courses on my website as well. And I'll see you again next time for another Chinese bite. Thanks for watching.